um, I've already done a lesson on how to play the sort of live session version that Ed Sheeran did. This one is a shorter video just on the intro um, kind of riff from the record. The first song that starts Ed Sheeran's new album, Divide. Any songs that I haven't taught already that you want me to teach, check it out below. But all of my Divide tutorials are all just here. And we have a capo at fourth fret to be able to do this. So one, two, three, four which makes the chords E minor, C, and then D. And um, that's all we're going to be looping. And I'm going to show you how to play the little melody and the chords separate, and then show you how I've put them together in this custom arrangement. Because they are, they are two separate parts on the record. We have the first one. That's the kind of basic version of it. And then we have the melody as a separate part, as a, as a different guitar. But we'll show you them both and then we'll show you how to put them together as well. So uh, the riff starts with a middle finger at what is the third fret according to, to the capo. So one, two, three here. And we're going to play the E minor chord in the sort of bluesy rock style with uh, a one finger like this and it, the finger's got to be really bent out. This is what I call the one finger E chord. It's an E power chord really, an E5. And that's how we'd start. Bend down, down up. This first finger way of playing this chord is at level three of my beginner's course. I think it's level three, lesson four. That's free on andaguitar.co.uk on the website. You can get more info on that. And um, then we would play like an open, the thinnest five strings with our thumb on top, down up. And then the same on the D chord. Up, down up, up, down up. So just let me show you this in total. Okay, that's everything that we're going for now. I added a couple of little bits there. I added the down up, just with muted strings. So you press your strings really lightly and you get this sound. If you press down really heavily, you start to get a noise. So we don't want that, we just want the hit. Down up, the middle finger note and then down up. And then there's just one single hit in the middle. We won't add that when we're playing the riff together, but that is how uh, that part is played on the record. Okay, one more time. Two, three. One last time. Two, three. And then up, down, up. And that was open for the first up. The same on the D, and then we loop. Very cool, very blues influenced actually, this kind of. That's very blues influenced. Um, let's have a look at how to play the melody now, this part. Okay, so we start off. If we're doing this sort of with the, with the chords as well, we want to really play it with our third and little finger as much as possible. But just to show you the notes, we have second fret on uh, the thinnest string to third, to second, to open. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then third fret of the B string. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. 
And then we need a little harmony, a little pair of notes. Which is first finger, third fret, first string. Third finger, fifth fret. One, two, three, four, five. You know, proportionate to the capo. On string two. So no middle finger, just those two. And then, like the two notes from the D chord. Now, when we play them together, kind of best if we use the fingers we're not using. To play the riff. That makes it more complex. That's the more simple version. And then after, the six more notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, full tab for this is on the website as normal. Click that link in the top corner. This is open. Three, one. Open on the thinnest. Three, one. And then, two, zero, three. In total. Okay, them's the notes. Let's put them together. What do we have to do different to put the two parts together? As covered previous, we have to use the third and little finger. To play that start part. And then for the second part, I'm holding down the C chord and playing open, little finger to first. And then the notes that I'm holding now for the D chord. Middle, open, third. And then I have enough fingers to be able to do the riff. Lots of fun, check it out uh, with the uh, original tutorial that I did which is on my website along with the tab and chord sheets for both of these and check out the rest of my tutorials from Ed Sheeran's new album Divide. Thank you very much for watching, subscribe, subscribe.